Hey YouTube, it's me again. Here I am wearing my beautiful purple metallic lipstick from Impulse Cosmetics. I got it right the first time. This is what I'm inspired by right now to do the look, my look today. It is from Impulse Cosmetics. I will link the, the brand down in the description box. Beautiful packaging. It's a little old, but still beautiful wand tip, nice curve, easy to put on. I started with my lipstick first just so that I could kind of keep being inspired and adding new things on based on this color, little, you know, lighter colors, little sparkle, but I want to kind of maintain this purple color. So I'm going to start with the lipstick and work my way out from there. First thing I'm going to do is start with this product from Skin Nutrition's New York. It's an age-defined dark circle and puffiness serum. I'm going to put that underneath my eyes. As you can tell, I need it. You just rub it right under your eye and let it dry. And I told you this would be a rant video and a what's new with me video. Well, what's new with me is that I have been crocheting up the yin yang. I learned to crochet from a very good friend of mine. Thank you, Stephanie. I mentioned her in the video, but she did teach me. And I've been doing it for a couple months now. I have made, I started with a scarf. That was looked it looked horrible guys it looked terrible progressed into hats which i just i've made a hundred hats now then i've made a shawl which is right here i made a poncho that i showed you guys recently in my last video um so i'm really getting into the whole crocheting thing it's keeping me very busy making me feel really good and just it's been a great 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 skill to have learned this is my um triangle shawl um i will put a link in the descri description box of where i learned to make it Super easy. I whipped this out in like less than a day. I added pretty fringe to the bottom. This is awesome to put around your shoulders. Tie around like this. Or you can put it on your waist. I'll show you that later. Just imagine. But I like to just drape it over my shoulders. It gives me a little bit of added warmth. And it's super cute. There's a lot of patterns that you can use online. The triangle one is easy. And I'll put the link down below. So that's what's new with me i have a new video coming out with my daughter to um, promote my business which would be making crochet items i'm going to be showcasing my poncho my shawl my hats everything that i've made so far she's going to be modeling and doing a video for me so i hope you guys check out my um, business website down below you can send me requests i can make pretty much anything um, i have a paypal account so we can work through it that way where you can pay me for supplies I, you know, we work out a color combination, we work out what you want, and then from then on, I make your beautiful masterpiece. So I really hope to start taking requests soon, and I'll link that in the bottom below. Um, so let's get started with my concealer. All right, guys, it's a really sad case that I do not have a beauty blender at this moment, so I've been using my fingers, but this is almost out. I'm going to have to get some more. It's Color Correction Cream from Sassy and Chic. And I have used the crap out of this, like really. But this just, honestly, it just gives my skin a nice, clean base to work with. It just gives me an overall base, like I said. And this one I'm going to link below because I really like it. And it's a light color. And honestly, I just pat it in, pat it in, pat it in. And then I start rubbing. So I'm going to do that. And what else do we want to talk about while I'm rubbing in my skin? I think we should talk about the election a little bit because I've been wanting to kind of talk about that lately. It's been a rough couple of couple of days for us Democrats. Proud Democrat, proud liberal. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a preacher. I'm to each their own. I believe everyone should have their own view, but I do have to say that the first few days of Trump's presidency have been really scary to say the least. Today's probably been the scariest day, and the, the wall thing, and, and the sounds like taxpayer money is going to be the reason, the way we pay it. He's going to find a loophole somehow for us to end up paying for it. Um, I have a lot of friends that are of, you know, Mexican descent, and whether they're illegal immigrants or not, they're my friends, and I believe that they have a right to be in this country. I think Everybody should be allowed in this country if they do it the right way, if they're not criminals, if they're, you know, 
not bad to the society. I believe that they should be here. I don't believe anybody that's already here should be kicked out, especially kids that are born from people that are of Mexican descent or anything like that. They shouldn't be kicked out. And I just, I worry that people are going to start getting frightened that they're going to be separated from their families and then shit's going to hit the fan. And that's what I don't want. So real quick break. I'm going to add my foundation now. Um, this is from CoverGirl. It's a clean matte. Um, this is a warm beige and I really like this. I am a warm tone. My skin is not necessarily dark, but not necessarily light, so it's right in the middle. So unfortunately, I, wish, I can't wait till I get a, can get a beauty blender, so unfortunately I have to use my fingers, and it just doesn't do the job. But back to my topic at hand. I'm really proud of the states that are sticking up for our you know, our immigrants out there, our, we're hard workers, our labor workers, our friends, they're our friends, they're some of our family members, and I fight for their freedom, and I'm praying that, you know, nobody feels like they're going to be kicked out, and, and nobody fears for their safety or their family, I really worry about that, um, he's just been executive order happy, he's just, as soon as he's, as soon as he stepped in office, it's just been sign this, sign that, and I don't think he's really been thinking but the effect, don't forget the neck, that it's going to have on our country. Um, I think the healthcare issue, I believe it needs to be fixed. There's a lot, you know, the premiums are ridiculous. Um, I've been on Obamacare. I've been through the marketplace. I've paid for my own insurance. The premiums are outrageous. The deductibles are insane. I'm now on Medicaid because I'm without work at the moment. That's soon to change, I hope. But it's the best medication. It's the best. Sorry, it's the best healthcare that I've had, honestly, because I don't have any money. And you know, through Medicaid, I may have been able to get my MRI that I and rel found out that I was diagnosed with arthritis of the back. Sorry about my boobs. So I've been on medication. I've been able to have spinal surgery and things. You know, it was rough for a couple of weeks. Lots of pain. Didn't think it was going to get any better, but recently I am proud to say that I am pain pill free. I am taking anti-inflammatories. Anti I'm taking ibuprofen, and the back is doing much better. Starting with a hmm, powder, which I can see the line now. Aha, here we go. L'Oreal True Match. I have used all of this almost. I'm going to have to get some more. It's in a also warm, warm shade, and almost out. This is my awesome brush. I forgot where I found this. It's from Deluxe Powder. Forgot where I found it, but this brush is an overall amazing, just all over your face powder, and I'm going to do that right now. I'll be right back. So I am applying my powder. I don't know why my boobs just want to keep making an entrance in this video. I'm really sorry. So I'm going to rub this all over my face, and it's just going to set everything. Okay, this is a good set. I love that my makeup, my lipstick is just shining through this whole video. I love it. All right, so that's all good and even. And now we're going to work on our highlighting, and I'm highlight crazy. I'm not going to lie. I love my highlights. I like, I have a highlight and contour palette from, it's a cream palette from Cherry tree. Tree is in C H R E E. I'll link that down below. So these are your highlighters. These are your contours. I'm going to try using them today. They are very harsh, but I'm going to see if I can blend it in and make it look nice. But first, I'm going to use my tried and true L'Oreal Paris Lumi True Match Highlighter. Look at this. Words gone because I use it so much because it rocks. And I still have lots of product left. Literally, this small of a dab on the cheekbones, right above the eye, right on the side of the nose, blend it in. You can see this highlight. Like, look at this. Oh my God, I I'm I am obsessed with this highlighter. I will be saving it so that I can reuse it right under the brow bone, shine it in their nose. I will also, I will be linking this down below because I will be using this for see the difference without and with you can see that shine baby shine so I am obsessed with this and of course I'm gonna add some more highlighters because I'm 
I'm a highlight freak. I love to see my face glow. And I love when people ask me why my face is glow. I've had people say, you look like you're glowing. Well, I literally am glowing. It's good to blend it in outward like so. But it's really lightweight. You don't feel like you're wearing any makeup. And you shouldn't look like you're wearing any makeup. Boom. All right. Now that that's blended in, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my cream contour palette. Boom. Let's start with a... I do have a contour brush. It is old and I need to replace it. And it is, I do not know where it's from. It just came with the palette. So we're going to go ahead and go in with this nice nude beige. And we're going to add it to the sides of our nose. Like so. And blend, 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 blend. And I use my fingers because I'm poor. And I don't have a beauty blender. I cannot wait to get... I forget the, the brand they are, but they have the handles and the brush kind of comes out at an angle. And I'm going to be purchasing those when my taxes come in. But just add a little shine to your nose. And then we're going to do a nice pretty brown right here to our cheekbones for highlights. All right. And it is a cream, so you do have to rub it in. Cream shabuggy down. Okay. What else to tell you about me? Um, might have a job, have an interview on Friday. I mean, next Tuesday. I don't know where I got Friday, tomorrow's Friday. Next Tuesday, Tuesday, everybody. Pray for me because I really need a job. Things are in dire straits here and I'm really looking forward to having some work. We're gonna contour. I'm not gonna be as brave as I usually am. We're gonna just do this middle. Mm, let's go with this shade right here. It's a little darker, let's be brave. And let's do some contouring. <clears throat> yes, I really need a job. I'm really anxious. See that line? Woo! Really anxious to start working. Making money on my own. So I need to save this money that is coming in from taxes for the summer for my one of my son. Look at that. Mm, that is so nice. Bring down to the chin a little bit. Contour that chin. Oh. So be, it's so nice. It is a little thick, and that's why I'll never get a cream again. I'll never, I didn't know this was a cream palette. I'll never be getting another cream palette in my life. I'm going to stick to powders. But this just really makes a really dramatic statement. And because of this purple, I feel like we need to go dramatic today. We need to look, you know, different. We need to really go outside the box. But I don't like the dramatic lines. I like to mix it out a little bit. So we're going to. Blend it in with a nice blending brush. Tiny, this came in a package. I got it Ross. But we're going to blend it in so it's not too harsh. I'm going to put a link in the description box if I can find it. I'm going to try to put a link for all these products if I can find them. We're going to add one more highlight. And it's going to be a powder. And it's just going to be this light shade right here. As you can see, this is my disgusting palette. These are lipsticks, y'all. Lipsticks. I don't use any of these. 